Hi, I'm Ray. Today I'm going to show you how we overwinter our fuchsia plants. We're now in November and the weather is taking a turn and we're getting a few cold mornings. So wanting to keep the fuchsias over winter so we can grow them again in spring. So we don't want the frost to get them. So we're gonna remove these from our hanging baskets and we're gonna store them in the greenhouse. But first of all, they're still in flower, but we need to tell it to go into dormancy. This bun is in my basket and we no longer need it in the basket. So I'm gonna remove it so we can reuse the basket for our winter pansies. So I'm just gonna remove some of the soil. And we can see it's got a good old root structure. So we take a look at our plant. And you can see, we've got many flowers still growing. And although we're in the beginning of November, it's nice to see them flower. They're not going to last if the frost gets them. So I'm going to go through removing all the flowers, removing all the little buds, so we can force it into a dormancy. I'm going to go round, removing bit by bit, just pinching off the flowers and then we can see what we've got in there, removing some of the dead matter, little buds, pinching them out, removing some of these dead leaves and then we can get a good picture of what we've got left. This is a really pretty fuchsia, really pretty flowers. Really pleased with these. It'd be nice to overwinter them and have them begin in the spring. So here we go, we've removed all the flowers and all the little buds that we can find and then we can go through we can see we've got any diseased branches any dead leaves remove them as we go we're going to remove this lower one And it's looking pretty good. Missing one there, some leaves and dead. So there we go, we're moving some of the old soil. And as we're leaving this out of the basket, we're going to put it into a pot. We don't need a big pot, just the smallest pot. Just going to trim some of these roots down. So there we have our fuchsia. So any, any cross branches we don't require, just cutting that one off, and that's looking good. So all we need to do is to get some compost, so it's just no more multi-purpose compost. And we're going to put this into the pot, and then this is going to go into the greenhouse. And it's going to get watered once a month. If it does get warm, just keep an eye on the compost. And there we go. That's our fuchsia potted up, ready for overwintering. Now it's going to sit in the greenhouse 
and we give it a water once a month. The most important thing is not to let the frost get to it and not to dry out. So we can go through doing the rest of our fuchsias. This one just going to clear out the bottom of the pot, removing any weeds, any rubbish. And that can go on as it is. Same with this one. I'm going to leave this one in the pot, just removing the buds. Flowers. Removing any debris from the bottom. Any old weeds. Checking any dead branches. I might remove this branch because it's crossing the others. It's not required. This one is slightly dyed on the end there, so I will just remove that. And there we go. I will just add a little bit compost just on the top, freshen it up, and I'll do the same with this one. And there we go. That's our fuchsias ready for over winter. Thank you.